Welcome to day 56. How are your feet feeling today compared to yesterday? What did they feel like yesterday and how do they feel today? Yesterday they felt bruised. Today they are swollen and they feel okay. And you got new shoes. I'm in new shoes and you can see they don't quite lace all the way up. But my feet have swollen up over the last two days of wearing just camp sandals around. So. But they're comfortable shoes, so they feel okay. Ah. There you go. Let it wash off. Yeah. It's 60 degrees in Hamburg. The humidity is low and there's a slight breeze. Um, the sun's been up for probably a half hour or so. It is perfect hiking weather and we're getting we're getting excited about tackling the day. I think the shelter we're gonna stay at is about 14 miles away. So Looking forward to it. Great day. It is 6.45 and we're walking through the town of Port Clinton. And we're slack packing <laughs> we're, for half a mile. <laughs> we're lack packing. <laughs> Uh, you couldn't ask for a prettier day or more comfortable temperatures.
Oh, hi, baby. He's uh, everybody that knows the girlies is gonna, they're gonna enjoy seeing Seamus. <laughs> hey, you lunkhead, get back with your people. <laughs> Hi, baby boy. <laughs> Those do smell really good. They're very fragrant. It's 10 a.m. We just had a little snack. We've hiked six miles so far today. It's 68 degrees and there's no humidity and a light breeze. It is heavenly. It's perfect hiking weather. Um, haven't had a rock field for the last hour. It's just, uh, you know, medium-sized rocks. Passing a lot of weekend hikers. Um, getting ready for a snack here soon. We keep checking the AWOL guide because this track is so wide that we can't believe it's the Appalachian Trail. It's wide enough for us to walk side by side. It's like an old wagon train or wagon trail and uh, we don't get to walk on these very often no. and when we do it's not for very long but yeah. we've been on this one for several miles. Yes and it's a pretty sunny day. Yeah. Just amazing.
I really should have videoed this. The tent went up like a dream because we're in this beautiful mowed yard. The shelter's not open, but the tenting's available. So I got our tent set up super fast. The soil is just, just like nice garden soil. And uh, I've already got my shoes off, let my feet air out. And hmm, no water. What's the story in the water? The water system, he's repairing it, so it's got, oh. it's got metal in it. If it's nice, I would just stay in the box. Uh -huh. It's six bucks in a, in a box house. Okay. Can you catch her? <laughs> he's ready for takeoff. <laughs> We're at the Eckville Shelter. We that hiked, much I know. Yeah, we hiked about 15.5 today. And we got here by about 3? Three? 3 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, so we've just been enjoying the beauty of the day and the temperatures. And, um, we got our got everything set up and we're just relaxing. Which, you know, that's a, that's a real bonus. We wore our new shoes today. Uh, I've got a pair of Solomons I'm wearing now. I got them at REI on sale. I don't know what they are. They're trail runners with a rock plate. That was that was my main criteria. And they seem to protect my feet pretty well. And you got brand new Ultras. Ultra Lone Peak 4s. Yeah. And that's courtesy of Expedition Director M. Yeah. He's a major trail angel. Yeah, she really saved us. We didn't even know how much trouble we were really going to be in. And, uh, and she came to our rescue without even being asked. Deeply appreciated. Yeah. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? I don't know. Something that mixes with <laughs> boiling water and comes out of a bag. That's how we roll. That's right. Um, let's see. Where else? It is a beautiful spot. Yeah, it's a really, a really nice little tenting area across yeah. from the shelter. And the shelter remains closed at the direction of the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. Yeah, not just the shelter, but also the privy. And right now the water is not available, so. Um, but that's supposed to be fixed later. It's, um, yeah, it's it's troubling. I mean, there's a perfectly good privy up there, and yet um, uh, over a dozen people are going to be digging cat holes tonight and tomorrow morning. That's it's not a that's not a good situation. I don't want to end on that. No. <laughs> but a beautiful day. We saw what. Snakes. Snakes. <laughs> so um, we were up at uh, the pin. No, we were up at the, the pulpit. pulpit rock, and uh, I was coming across a rock field, and I saw. I heard the rattle. I heard the rattle, but I never saw the snake because they were two fellas, young fellas, and they had these, um, I guess, snake sticks. Snake hooks. Snake hooks, and and they were messing around with the snakes, and so I didn't get close enough to be around angry snakes, but I did hear the rattle. And then when we got to the pinnacle, people were saying, oh, there's a copperhead over there. So I did go over there and get pictures of the copperhead. Then we saw a frog. Yeah, my best pictures of the day were the frog. Bunnies. I didn't get pictures of bunnies. Yeah, we saw bunnies. We did see bunnies. Um, yeah. People said they saw a bear, but we never saw we, <laughs> we saw a lot of dogs today. A lot yeah. of people out walking their dogs. It's a big old Irish setter. <gasps> Seamus. What a beautiful Seamus. dog. Oh, he's, he's my new buddy. Yeah. I love that Seamus. He's the size of a pony. Good boy. He's, he, and he was just such a goofball. You gotta love him. <laughs> yeah, the tent city. With those tents, you can, you can just throw it in underneath.